Well, police are now investigating a scandal in B.C.'s health ministry. Accusations of conflict of interest, fiscal mismanagement, breach of privacy involving ministry contracts and research grants at UBC and the University of Victoria. As CTV Stephen Andrews shows us tonight, RCMP are now in the investigation. The first full day in her new job as health minister, Margaret McDermott is dealing with a scandal. This was the first thing that I was briefed in um, and my reaction was disbelief. I was shocked and I continue to be, I, I do believe it now, but I continue to be deeply troubled and disturbed by this. This is very serious. Four health ministry employees working in research and development were fired today, three others suspended without pay. The ministry called in the RCMP after learning of possible misconduct by ministry employees and drug researchers. We cannot and we absolutely will not in the future tolerate anyone breaking the rules. There is clear legislation and policy in this area. Um, the way that data research is to be done, the way that contracts are to be managed, and we believe that those rules, regulations and legislation have not been followed. Two of the province's leading academic institutions are also implicated. Questions have arisen about the contracting and research grant practices between ministry employees and researchers at UVic and UBC. The department under investigation works with researchers to provide government with information on the effectiveness of drugs. Some of that information is used to determine whether the drug should be covered by pharmacare. In addition to the staff firings and suspensions, the health ministry has suspended research contracts with the University of British Columbia and the University of Victoria. Those contracts are worth $4 million. But the investigation into conflict of interest allegation doesn't end there. The health ministry is concerned that its employees shared personal information of patients with researchers at the University of Victoria and the University of British Columbia, information that wasn't authorized. At this point, the Privacy Commissioner cannot say how widespread the privacy breach is. We're just in the information gathering stages, so it's quite early days, um, so I can't really comment on what we might find, uh, but we are uh, working with, um, with the information that we're receiving from the Ministry in order to make some determinations. For the woman whose job it is to get ahead of the Health Ministry and provide a new look for next May's provincial election, today's revelations are a headache that no pharmacare prescription can cure. Many issues. The story is still developing. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, what do we know about the, the nature of the alleged conflict and, and what about these contracts? Does the suspension of them with UVic and UBC uh, delay drugs that might have already been approved? Well, I mean, Hudson, the health minister says there is a family connection, but she will not confirm what that connection is. The government has tightened its controls, though, and all spending for pharmaceutical division within the health ministry now requires the approval of the assistant deputy minister. Also, policies on how contracts are awarded to universities has been stepped up. And as to the delay in drug approval, the health ministry says, unfortunately, there is going to be a delay. Now, we know that one drug under review, Hudson, is connected with Alzheimer's, but the health minister is indicating that once she is comfortable with the way that the contracts are being handled and the data breach, those suspensions could be lifted. All right. Stephen Andrew reporting. Stephen, thanks. You're welcome.